Hi, I'm Dylan Verna with Airline Hydraulics. Uh, we're here today to do a tech talk. I've got Steve Redkay from Phoenix Contact with me. And we're going to be talking about the PLC Next today. So Steve, what is the PLC Next and how it differs from other PLCs? Yes, um, so PLC Next technology, it's a PLC, but it's based on a Linux operating system. So you get the openness of, of running on Linux and being able to work with Linux based softwares as well as it's a real-time PLC. We have a real-time patch running on the Linux that gives you real-time deterministic updates like you're expecting from a PLC. So I can talk Linux with it, but am I still able to use it as a standard industrial automation PLC? Sure. Yeah, you, you don't even really have to touch on the Linux side if you don't want to. Okay. You can use it as a conventional PLC. Yeah. Uh, we have a software PLC Next Engineer. You can download this software, it's free. Uh, there's no development licensing involved or anything like that. That's gonna give you this IEC 61131 environment that everybody programming PLCs is comfortable with. So you can program in ladder logic, function block diagram, and structured text. I've heard about using the PLC Next alongside Ignition, as well as utilizing it in terms of trying to capture and manipulate data? Yeah, Ignition is a growing and, and very popular uh, SCADA solution. And it incorporates different uh, protocols to collect data from remote devices as well as you know local devices. It uses protocols like uh, OPC UA as well as Sparkplug B is, is one of their protocols that they really uh, use and that's based on MQTT. MQTT is a is a protocol that's just for just about every cloud-based solution out there. The Sparkplug B driver that we have is incorporated in an application that you can download from our store, another free download, um, but you can download that and this device now becomes a Sparkplug B client. And uh, you can push data to a broker, then Ignition can subscribe to it and you can build all your screens and do all that. Uh, fun ignition stuff. Wow. So if I want to get started, it sounds like I can use the PLC Next Engineer software, which is free to download, but is there anything else, hardware or software, such as IO or HMIs that I would need or could utilize? Yeah, PLC itself really doesn't have any onboard IO. It's not like a brick PLC, so you're gonna add IO to it, but it works on our Axio line form factor. So you can take advantage of our Axio line F IO as well as Smart Elements product as well. Smart Elements is a more cost-effective IO solution. It's very popular, becoming very popular this past two years, as well as remote IO. You know, we support a bunch of protocols, Modbus, yeah. Profinet, Ethernet, IP, these kind of things. Wow, that's awesome. You've got a lot of experience working with the PLC Next. Would you be able to provide some applications and use cases of the PLC Next? As we talked, you know, you can use this as just a conventional PLC. It can sit down there on a machine, read and write I.O. And, and do conventional standard PLC stuff. But where I'm really seeing this being applied is more on a data collection type of environment where we're sitting talking these other protocols, talking to third party PLCs, collecting data on the PLC and then using it as a gateway to get out to whether it's Ignition or AWS, uh, cloud-based services, for example. So there's a lot of options there, but that's where I'm really seeing the strength and, and the versatility of this product. That is fascinating. V various use cases for a single PLC. The last question I have for you is, so what other resources does Phoenix Contact provide or, or I could use as a user of the PLC Next? Yeah, so the, the PLC itself uh, is part of what we call the, our ecosystem, the PLC Next ecosystem. Sure. That includes the hardware, the software we talked about, as well as we have a community, uh, PLC Next community. It's, it's a forum that you can post or, or browse questions on the forum. Online learning uh, is, is on there as well. An info service, which gives you a real deep dive into the technology itself and example programs, these kind of things. And then finally, we have what we call Profi Cloud. This is a cloud-based time series database. 
with a couple check boxes in your program, you can start publishing data to this cloud service. Once it's up there, you can, you can just store the data or you can dashboard it, do trending, alarming, as well as device management. It's another big thing that you can get alarms from the hardware itself or, or actually push yeah. down firmware or programs. Well, I think that's all the questions I've got. Steve, uh, thank you very much for being here today. Uh, we're, we're, we're grateful for your insight. Uh, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the PLC Next, feel free to reach out to myself or anyone else here at Airline Hydraulics. Um, and if you'd like to demo the PLC Next, we'd be happy to do that for you as well. Thank you very much and have a good day. Thank you.